It's been great. Um, actually, I requested this trip. Um, the NBA asked me if, what legend trip did I want to go on, either this one or Shanghai. And I, I enjoyed Manila the last time I was here because I there's nothing like being around great basketball fans. And I, I you know, it's the number one sport here. And you just want to see the excitement. I, know I had a lot of excitement being here because you know, the fans came out in groves for some old legends. Just imagine now that you got these new young guys that can really play. Mm -hmm. And so I'm excited for the game to see how the fans come out and just, you know, support the NBA. I think it's critical, especially for a place like the Philippines, because the love of basketball here is so great. And I, I remember the last time I here, I had the pleasure of talking to Pacquiao, and he was like a little kid talking about basketball, how much he loved the Lakers. And I'm like, wow, here me, boy. I'm the one that's supposed to be a little kid talking to you, one of the greatest fighters of all time. So it, it, it's exciting to see the love that the, 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 the Philippine people have for basketball. It, it, it's just exciting. And I'm, I'm really excited for the game because I, I know that it's going to be a packed house and it's going to be crazy. There. So I'm excited just to see how many people come out to watch the game. I, mean, I have two that, you know, they, they all remember, but the two that stands out the most is the 90, 95 championship with the Rockets where we didn't have home court advantage. You know, we went out and was able to beat all the legends in that, you know, Carmelo and John Stockton, Charles Barton, A.C. Green, Kevin Johnson, uh, Dennis Rodman, uh, David Robinson, David Johnson, Sean Elliott, and then we went to beat Penny, Shaq, uh, Derek Anderson, 3D. So, not Derek Johnson, but Nick Anderson. So, but, it, you know, that run was incredible. And we didn't have home court advantage at one point. And then, of course, in 2001, we only lost one playoff game. Uh, when I was with the Lakers, when you know we lost that first one in the finals against the Sixers, but you know, those two championships mean a lot to me because a lot of things were accomplished in those series that would never be accomplished again. You know they all stand out. I know everybody remembers me from the shot in, uh, against Second the Kings. Mm -hmm. Everybody talks about that shot. You know my shot. Even you know I talk about the one where I made against um, Game One uh, in ninety in ninety five against. The, Against the San Antonio Spurs, you know that was our nemesis. We could never beat them in the roll-up in their place in the Western Conference Finals and beat them in Game One. I knocked down a shot. That meant a lot to me. You know, when you beat your rival, I know everybody. Well, the Kings were your rivals. We said that just for the paper. They really were not rivals. <laughs> Portland were more so our rivals than they were. But uh, but that San Antonio at being a Rocket was our rival. You know, they owned us that during the regular season. So that shot meant more than probably than almost every shot I make. So. I look at a lot of guys that are in the Hall of Fame, and it, you have to look at it. If you don't get in, so be it. But you know what? You're going to be talked about more when you're not in than you do when you get in. So if I don't get in, I'll be talking about it a long time. <laughs> I would love to coach some day, I would, I would, but I would love to be in the perfect situation. Um, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't coach one of these teams where a lot of young guys think they're good when they're not. And I would love to be in a situation like Avery Johnson had to prime situation when he stepped into Dallas, a veteran team that knew how to win, and, 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 and it make you look like you know what you're doing. So <laughs> I would love to coach someday, you know, start off as an assistant coach, get to learn my way and learn my path. And because I've always dreamed of coaching, and I always wanted to be a coach, but I think for me it has to be the ideal situation because I don't need to coach, I don't have to coach, I just want to coach, if that makes sense. Uh, if you can pick one player to, you can pick one player today to win the game, who would it be? Kevin Durant. Uh, I think Kevin Durant is one of the most exciting players in the game. He can put it on the floor. He can do everything. He, he, you saw when, when uh, Westbrook and I had to carry carry the team. And, and I mean, when I say carry, he really carried. Everybody was looking around saying, you do your thing. But he's just a fun, extraordinary basketball player. He's so tall, so lanky. He can shoot it, shoot it from anywhere with ease. He can put it on the floor, take it to the hole and dunk it. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping and praying that they, everybody looks at him because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be MVP this year because, you know, when Westbrook went out, you're going to see exactly what he can he can do and how he can carry a team. You no, know, don't count out that guy down in Miami either, but I think it's, sometimes it's time for a change.